I mean, it was a cool concept. Wait, what the heck? Why is it just static? Where the hell's my title? What the f What? Oh. Hotel Artemis, directed by Drew Pierce, stars Jodie Foster, Sterling K. Brown, Sophia Butella, Dave Batista, and Jeff Goldblum. You'd think with that amazing cast, they'd be able to make a cool and exciting, fun movie. I put my expectations way too high for this. Watching the trailer, I was kind of comparing it to something to maybe Dread or The Raid, where you have one location. And that's where all the action happens. Action. And there is hardly any in this movie. It was far more of a drama than an action movie. I feel like I was lied to. This movie centers around this medical facility called the Hotel Artemis, in which they take care of criminals. This place is very secretive, not too many people know about it. And the main focus of the movie is Jodie Foster's character, the nurse. And you think this would be about the hotel and stuff that would go on around the hotel, but not really. It's more just a character study, a character movie. Her revenge, like a revenge movie, I guess, but it's not a good one. Jeff Goldblum shows up. I'm pretty sure he just showed up just for a paycheck. He's in the movie for maybe, I don't know, about that long. And it's Jeff Goldblum acting like Jeff Goldblum, which is awesome. But he is not really into it, and you can kind of tell. And this movie is really short. It it clocks around like an hour and a half, but it kind of feels really long because you're waiting for something to happen. There's no action in this movie until maybe like the last 15, 20 minutes, and it's not enough to save it. Uh, the positives that I will give about the movie is Dave Batista is hilarious. It's really good to see him something that's not guardians of the galaxy or avengers he is really growing as an actor and he's a great comedic actor sophia butella she was really cool too she's very polarizing she's very just slick and awesome and badass but you just don't see enough of either one of them being funny and being a badass you get that for about 10 15 minutes and there's a really good fight scene towards the end and that's what i thought the whole movie was gonna be but it wasn't and it was really frustrating to me to where I just wanted more. I didn't want this unnecessary drama and it just felt flat for me. I didn't really care too much about Jodie Foster and her character. Charlie Day kind of shows up a little bit, but Charlie Day is also just being Charlie Day. And there's just all these separate storylines that just don't make sense and they don't really intertwine together and they don't really work that well together where it's trying to do so much to where they should have just been able to simplify, hey, this is a medical facility for criminals and we should just have chaos happen, but nothing really happens at all. And I wish this movie was better. And just to wrap this thing up, it's gonna be a shorter review, just none of these actors had that too much to work with. And this is Jodie Foster's first movie, I think in about five years that she's acted in. And I don't really think she picked the best thing to be in. But if you wanna go see this movie, I guess the only two shining stars of this would be Dave Batista and Sophia Batella because I think their characters are the coolest and they're the funniest and the most badass. And if you don't like either of them or you don't care, it's probably best just to stay home because if you're gonna go see an action movie, this isn't one. I'm very sorry. Tomorrow, I hope to have a little more upbeat and positive review as I go see Incredibles 2. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. All my social media is down below. And like always, I will catch you at the cinema. Thank you.